So I guess uh, if you like anybody else, you go down to the store when you need a spoon or a ladle or whatever. But around here, you just make one. So <laughs> I got a piece of copper on a copper spoon. And uh, it's going to have a steel handle, you know, and I'll blacksmith it out, forge it out. So the first thing you got to do is <clears throat> you got to trace, you know, kind of a pattern onto your metal. And I'm going to make the copper first, then I'll forge out the handle. And then I'll rivet them together so you can see how I do it. So, uh, <clears throat> just take, it's not hard, it just takes a lot of time. So, uh... I'll trace my pattern. Alright, so I'm going to take this. You can see the pencil lines. I made it wide enough here where I can wrap it kind of around the edges of my handle. And then I'll just round this out. I cut it out with a cutoff wheel out of this hunk of, <clears throat> out of this sheet of copper. It's relatively thick you know but not it's just not quite too thick so that's good it makes it harder to work but it gives you a better product at the end it's more durable and that's what we're looking for so now I'll shape it on a 36 grit belt sander Well, I cut it out, ground it out, sanded it out. <clears throat> now it's time to uh, take it out and get it hot, start forging it. So you got your copper plate cut out and then I guess the first thing you got to get it hot get it you know malleable to where you can work it so I get a hot in the forge and you get a use a propane torch or whatever and I just leave it in there for a couple of minutes not even that long maybe a minute let it get hot That'll make it soft, and then I can uh, use a ball peen hammer and start tapping it, and it'll start taking shape by itself that way. You'll see. So I'm gonna take a ball peen hammer and start tapping this thing now because it's hot already. Okay, so <clears throat> I got it warm a few times. And I started tapping it with a ball peen hammer. And I saw that's why it's all dimpled. And I kept doing that in a circular motion until it started to curve. But once I got it curved pretty good, you know, you want it to be pretty symmetrical. And I could do that just by keep hitting it, you know. So I took the ball hitch, two inch, two and five eighths inch ball hitch off of my truck and I put it in this vise. And then I put it on here, you know, put it on the inside and then I could tap it with the flat part of the hammer. And I would move it around like this and just keep, and just keep tapping the son of a bitch until it kind of took shape. See? And once it takes pretty good shape, then I gotta make a handle for it. So I'm gonna make the handle out of this uh, piece of the, uh, looks like three eighths. It says on it here. Hot rolled, uh, what is this crap? One inch by 36, or whatever. 
three sixteenths it looks like. So I'm gonna make a handle out of that. I gotta get a hot. Ah, stick it in the forge. We'll get it hot and I'll start hitting it. So I'm getting a piece of copper hot. A lot of these guys will get a machine ball and a reverse, you know. So we put the thing in there and then they press it between the two. It makes it perfect. But if you're only making one or two, you don't need it. You can figure it out. I got like this giant old ladle off of a yard trail. I'm getting the copper hot in my forge, but you can use a propane torch, acetylene torch. Same thing, just get a hot. You can build a fire. So it's pretty red. I'm going to put it inside this little ladle. I'm going to put the cap of my settling torque in there. And just push down a little bit. When I got it pretty good, I'll turn it upside down. And I'll whack it with a hammer. Perfect, but it's starting to take the shape. All right. A lot of people don't know this, but if you take a ball peen hammer, a big one, and you take the round part, or even the, the other part, if you sand it down, you take it and get a block of wood. This here is cedar. But you can sit and play with it. Until it has a reverse of this. So that's what it's got now. takes more of the shape, see? And the more I do that, the more of that shape it'll take. Alright, so, well this thing's still hot. I just take the top off my acetylene torch, anything round. I got a round depression in this wood. I just take my hand and tap it. Got to straighten it out. Get it pretty straight. So what I'll do now is I want to cut the sides up more and my hole ain't deep enough. So I want to get it hot. I got a ball hitch. I'm going to put it on this ball hitch, two inch ball, two and five inch ball hitch. And then uh, I'll put it on here like this and I'll tap it with a ball piece. just the shape I want and then when I'm done doing that 
you can take a look at it. Kind of looks like a piece of crap right now, but once you get it rounded the way you want, then you can take a wire brush, you know, on a on a bitch grinder or one on a drill, a little round wire wheel, and you can clean it all up and it'll, and it'll, and it'll become real pretty. And then all you do is make your metal handle, forge it out, and then I drill two holes and put two copper rivets in it and peen them over the way I want, and you got a ladle. And I hope that helps. Okay, so I forged out the simple handle. And I drilled two holes in it. And then, um... I will use the wire brush on the outside of it. So, you know, it looks good. But on the inside, you have to use a wire wheel on a drill or something. Well, here she is, all done. And I got inside here with a little wire wheel on a drill. It's only about the only way you can really do it. And there's little, you know, smudges and stuff, but I gotta wash it still with some soap and water. But, she's got a nice curve to it. It's kind of a shallow ladle, but it's real big around, so it's <clears throat> three inches almost around, so it'll be plenty big enough to do whatever you want, make soup, get soup or whatever. And it's got a nice contrast to it. So if you ever want to clean this and it gets tarnished, the, the copper on it, you can just take some Ajax, get it wet, little bit of Ajax and a wash rag, you know, washcloth and just scrub it or a sponge or whatever, or just your fingers even. And it'll come right clean. It'll only take about 10 seconds. Come right clean, rinse it off, hang it up. It's ready to go again. And that's my way. <clears throat> Have fun. Be safe.